The United States emerged from the cinders of World War II with its industrial base still intact and the only country with the atomic bomb. It was without question the most powerful nation on Earth. The U.S. supports democracy if and only if it accords with strategic and economic objectives. If we look who is behind, let's say, uh, U.S. Uh, public policy, it's Wall Street. It's more important to put a dollar in his pocket than, than what's good for the nation. Ultimately, that's real treason. We want to believe that our government is uh, uh, not going to lie to us. Today, the president tries to say, uh, because of the commander-in-chief clause in the Constitution, if I say it's a matter of national security, anything I do is legal, and nobody can touch me on it. It has to do with the U.S. government going around the Middle East and elsewhere and bombing people, overthrowing governments, supporting dictatorships, suppressing popular social movements, torturing people. Our actions really do make a difference. And for many peoples throughout the world, our actions in Iraq, the prisoner scandal in Abu Ghraib and Guantanamo and so on, have really hurt. You are violating human rights. And how you can say oh, that we are violating is you're doing the same. What was done with this unprecedented power, the effects it had on our republic and the rest of the world, is the story of superpower.